Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Hacker 101. So today we're going to talk about how to install the Unleashed firmware on your Flipper Zero. And for those of you that may be watching it or not, may not be sure what a Flipper Zero is, a Flipper Zero is um, is a really awesome tool that came out last year. Um, I've had mine for a while. I love it. Um, it's, a, it's a portable, multifunctional device that can read, copy, emulate, like RFID, NFC tags, radio remotes, iButton, digital access keys, things like that. It's, it's a tool, you know, for security enthusiasts like ourselves to play around and learn how things work. All right, so I'm going to show you there's several different firmwares that you can use on Flipper Zero. Um, Unleashed happens to be my favorite one. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to install it the easy way. There's a couple ways, and I'm going to um, show you that. So before we get started, let me go ahead and read my disclaimer. All right, so on the Hacker 101 channel, um, all the hacking I do is performed on equipment that I own. I have permission. You know, you should always have permission before you perform any hacking activities, and um, I do not support any illegal activities whatsoever. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, first thing, let's open up a browser, and we're going to do a search. We're going to search for Unleashed Flipper Zero. And um, you're going to see the first result is the Dark Flippers Unleashed Firmware GitHub re repository. Now, on this page, there's a whole lot. They're, they're, they're discussing a whole lot on this page. It's, it's kind of busy. Here's what's changed. Um, this is a very active um, project, so there's a lot going on here. It's going to take you a lot to understand how all this works, but I'm going to show you how to do the install. So we want to install, and um, in case you don't know, Unleashed firmware, it's just a custom firmware that was written for um, Flipper Zero um, that is not stock, and it opens up a few things and adds a few tools, or a lot of tools, actually, and UI changes that... Um, you know, hackers like myself, you know, we prefer. So Unleashed is a really great uh, firmware. So let's t let's scroll down, and we're going to go to the install section. All right, how to install the firmware. It's a few links you got to go through. Um, so they're going to tell you with the web updater. This is the very the easiest way. I'm going to show you how to do it this way, and then I'm going to show you how to do it with, um, you know, uploading downloading the um, firmware and then uploading it to your flipper zero so from here let's click on the release page open a new tab and then it's going to show us the latest release is um, 059 we're going to scroll down install via web updater let's install the, ex the version with extra apps so we'll click on install via web updater and at this point you need to connect your your flipper all right, I connected mine. Now, if you have QFlipper open, go ahead and close that because it will cause problems. So hit connect. Here's my flipper. And as you can see, um, I have the stock firmware. You want the stock firmware on your flipper before you install Unleashed. Go ahead and have that on there beforehand. And then so, um, all right, so we have our stock firmware. We're going to install the release. Um, version 059E, we're going to hit install. It's going to load the firmware files and you can watch your screen and it'll it'll tell you what's going on and also you can see on the, you know, the web installer tells you what's happening. This takes a couple of minutes. And if you haven't gotten a Flipper Zero um, already, definitely get you one. This this is a really cool tool. I mean, you can do all sorts of stuff. You open garage doors. You can turn off TVs, um, you know, that are not yours. There's all sorts of stuff you can do. You can open up car car doors with it, you know, lock, unlock. There's so much stuff you can do with the Flipper Zero. It's tons of fun. All right, so this is almost done. All right. Update in progress. Okay. All right. It's, it's um, updating now. Taking a little longer than I thought. But th it's pretty straightforward. This is the easiest way. You don't have to download, upload any files. Just a few things to make sure of. 
make sure you're at the latest version of the um, the stock firmware, the Flipper Zero stock firmware. Make sure it's the latest version before you come to do the update or unleashed. All right, it's almost a progress bar. bar is like three quarters of the way done. It says updating resources. And also, um, I noticed um, not long ago that um, someone has created an evil portal. If you have the Wi-Fi um, expansion board, the Wi-Fi module board, um, you can um, create an evil portal, which is absolutely is, is a lot of fun. All right, all right. So now you see we have we have the firmware installed, Unleashed 059E, and um, you can see the files like here's my um, SD card and all the different so you can browse through the web interface here you got a CLI command line interface you can connect directly to Flipper so I like the web interface it's really easy um, but you, you can install it another way as, as well so let's close this now if you want to install it the, the manual way let's go back to the releases page and we just want to down we want to download the latest release um, so we're going to go download um, the one that says update unleash 059 tgz that's the um, zip file so i have already downloaded that so once you download that then you want to load up q flipper like this you have um you connect your um flipper to the computer and then um, I've already got Unleash installed, but to to install it from file, you just click on install. So you would go back to your stock firmware. You would have your stock firmware installed. And then you would just, instead of doing it through the web installer, you could install from a file by going to install file, selecting the download, hit open, and then say install. And this is going to verify the um, installation. All right, it's going through the same process, says updating. So I'm really just reinstalling the unleashed firmware. But you see, it's easy to install the firmware both ways. Um, so, um, but you know, some, some people may not have good internet. And if you have bad internet, you may want to download the, you know, the firmware first and, and before you flash it. Because you don't, you don't want your internet to um, have problems while you're in the middle of updating things. So, um, that's a good scenario as to why you would want to do a manual install by downloading the files and then installing from a file would be you know possibly because you have a bad internet connection or whatnot all right updating resources is what it says on my flipper and then how to use unleashed that's a whole lot more to explain i'm not going to explain how to use unleashed in this video um, but there are, um, you can go back to the GitHub page. They have good documentation on how to use things. So um, I think that's a good place to start. But I will create um, other videos on how to use the Flipper in the future. So we have success. We hit continue. Then we're on the Unleash 059 by installing from a file and by installing from the web installer. So that's how you install Unleashed firmware. I hope you liked the video. If you did, go ahead and hit subscribe. And in the future, I'll create some new, um, some new videos on how to um, use the Flipper, maybe how to install the Evil Portal. All right, thanks a lot. Have a good day.